And welcome to this channel message on this day. And yes, it will be about release, for you are re ready to release so much. It is similar to a Reiki session where uh, a being who has booked a Reiki session is ready to release a lot. They have it already ready to go in their aura. It's kind of floating, and the Reiki practitioner just needs to uh, sweep the aura to remove the debris from their fields. And that is kind of what we will be doing with this channel. Uh, a sort of aura sweep, though perhaps not literal, you may feel like we are sweeping your aura, it is more what are you ready to let go of that you can now let go of? Because there is a great release transpiring around this time period. It's a theme through the rest of the year is what is the release that needs to transpire so you can quantum leap into your higher reality, so you can have the best next year that's for you or at least the year you're meant to have, and that mm, you're ready for what is coming in next. For there is a lot of debris, a lot of things that have been releasing over time, uh, perhaps with these channel messages, perhaps with what you've been going through in your life, and it's time to let go of that for good, whether it's old memories, uh, stagnant emotions, things stuck in the body you're ready to release, cellular memory, all that uh, yada yada, that jargon, that mm, trash we could say because you are ready for all new and you are becoming all new. You are evolving at a rapid rate uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, on the human level, on the spiritual level, and you are ready for something completely different. And you might not know what that looks like. You might not realize what that looks like. And it can be scary when you evolve into something unknown. But we urge you to hang on for dear life, hold the angel's hands, hold your spirit guide's hands, and trust the process that the universe is putting you through to evolve into your next life, is what we'd like to say. Because it will be like a next life. It won't be like before. It, the only way it would be like before is if you are holding on to the old or the past, or the things that don't serve your highest good, the things that were stuck with you. But again, you're ready to release these things, otherwise they would not be metaphorically, or for some of you, literally floating in your aura, ready to be removed from your mind, from your mental realms, from your relationships, from, uh, from you, from your energies. And what is the new that's coming in to replace the old? We wish to bring you that reminder. The new always comes in to replace the old. And if you get a repeat of a past lesson or circumstance, it is not the exact same thing. The energy may be similar. It may be a reminder of what you've been through before the uh, mm -mm -mm issue releases for good. It could be you mm -mm 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 running over an issue again and again as if with a rolling pin to uh, uh, roll out the dough, roll out the knots in your energy fields that keep attracting the same circumstances to you. But you're ready to release that. You're ready for a new way that heals things quicker, brings in the new quicker, does not have you repeating the same thing over and over and over again. And part of new earth, which has birthed, which is here, if you will allow it, you could step into it right now. And some of you are worried about this ascension train. You're worried about missing the ascension boats is a common fear. You cannot miss the ascension boats. If you are on earth, you are ascending. If you are open to ascending and healing and uh, embodying your soul, embodying your highest self, you cannot miss the boats to new earth. You are on it. You are creating it. You are a part of it. You are one with all of it. How could you miss the boats? Uh, the only ones who would have you be afraid of that are mm, people who are misinformed, misdirected, or mm, people who have something to gain from it. And not all of them are just trying to gain things from you with that message. Some of them believe it themselves. But we urge you to let go of that because you are creating new earth. Yes, Source is creating it through you, but you're a part of it. How can you miss what you are a part of? How can you miss what you are if you are all of it? The other thing we want to remind you of is um, the possibilities of your life and your reality and what you're creating. You can create not missing the bus. You can create that reality. Reality is craftable. You are reality. 
and you can't miss what's for you. Your soul signed up for an experience, it's not going to miss the boat. So we urge you to let go of the stories of uh, missing the ascension boat for anyone worried about that. We urge you to let go of the stories of you missing your life or new earth or anything like that. New earth is here. You're creating it. So what would you like to create as your reality? What ease would you like to create? What path would you like to create? And sit with us uh, for a guided visual for just a moment to help create a new reality, to help you see what we're talking about here. Imagine in front of you a path. It can be any color. It can be rainbow. It can be golden, silver, platinum, an unknown substance, an energy. And sit with the energy of your reality. And if you want to feel it, you can just... As you can get any energy from source, ask source for the energy of your reality, just to feel it. And feel that energy. And ask it to increase, to improve, to upshift. You can ask it to get 10 times better, 100 times better, or you can ask what would an improved version of this feel like? And your reality should shift. And regarding the visual, your path may change color and your intuitive and your intuitive visuals. You might see something up ahead at the end of your path. And this is your new reality. And it should be light, it should be more carefree, it should be connected. And you can create whatever else you'd like to see. So what would you like to see in a new reality? You could see in front of yourself in this visual a notepad or a notebook and write down those things. Take a moment to write and do you get it intuitively? Do you get messages? It's okay if you do or if you don't, just write those things down. What would you like to see in a new reality? Whether it's how things work, whether it's people. And we will give you a moment to complete this exercise. But when you are done from that notebook or whatever you wrote down on in your visuals, tear it out and put it on your path and see it absorbed by the path you are walking on. <coughs> and you may feel some shifts. And see that note, that energy of what you asked for being absorbed into that future reality ahead of you at the end of the path or to where the path is leading. Now walk towards that new reality and you will feel things shifting around you as you do this. The energies may shift. You may feel different. And walk forward until it is there, this new reality around you. It could look like a city, could look like a doorway you walk through and everything's different and sunny and has rainbows on the other side. It could look like something completely unknown to you or it could just be a felt experience. And now just say thank you I invite in the highest and best reality for me. And you may find yourself releasing as you go through this visual, this visualization, this intention, this meditation. Because in order to create the new, you must release the old sometimes. And the old reality has to crumble or be transformed. And that is a part of your energy field's clearing. Those things you're ready to release, releasing, is allowing that old reality to crumble. Allowing that old earth stuff to go away, as some of you might say. And some of you are not into ascension. You're just like, what is this person talking about? Who are these beings? What's going on? Hmm. Don't worry about that. 
your reality is fine. You might have different words. You might have a different understanding. You might be in a completely different reality, and that's okay. Create what's highest and best for you. See yourself next in a forest of evergreen trees, though they can be multicolored and rainbow. And you are going to come back to your bodies following that visualization, but walk through this forest. And one thing you're going to do as you walk through this forest is thank nature. Thank the aspects of reality that make life worth living. Thank yourself and your body. Thank the old for the good. Thank every aspect of you that's helping you. And see in front of you a totem of any variety. You may also see a gift from your spirit guides. You can take that and receive that, whatever it is. But in this visual, you can touch that totem and you will be back in your bodies. So three, two, one, go ahead and touch that totem. And you can open your eyes or you can continue to keep them closed and just listen to the channel. We will wrap it up soon. We really just want to help you release the old reality that was crumbling anyways, and make it less painful. Because you are worthy of that. And life does not have to be difficult. And challenge is okay. Challenge is meant to be there if it's meant to be there. And some of you are getting your greatest lessons, your greatest life-altering, life-improving wisdoms, knowledge lessons, through the greatest challenges you've had or are going through. But what will it take for future lessons to come with ease, to occur with ease, to be learned with ease? And what will it take for your future reality to be one of ease and grace, of highest reality, of highest possibilities, of the best trajectory for you? What we are trying to hand you is the key to manifesting your reality to not being stuck the way other people want them to be. To not being stuck to what other people have been selling you reality as, when it does not have to be that way, whether it's energetic and spiritual or physical. Because the possibilities are opening wide. And reality is moldable by you with intention. And that is going to help you release if you are willing to create the new. So are you willing to create reality? To create with source? To create with all that is? And mold something different? Create something different? And this is not about controlling other people. This is not about bludgeoning other people over the head with your beliefs. It's about creating the world you want to see because you are worthy of that. You have that power. No one teaches you this, so perhaps some are starting to. And that's all we're doing. So with that, we leave you. Hopefully you have released a good amount. Some of you have a lot. Some of you it will be over time following this meditation, this channel. And we are wishing you the best regarding your reality, regarding your life, I know that if you are watching this on YouTube or a place you can rewatch it, you can return to this anytime to upshift your reality, to help release anything in the way of your creation. Because you hold the key. You always have. You're simply shining a light on the fact that you hold the key to create your reality and your life. And with that, we leave you. We wish you well. We are signing out. Farewell. <laughs>